What's up everybody and welcome to episode 6 of our new web series. Today we're going to be looking at the Brow Air Reversal. So today's quick video is about the Brow Air Reversal which was created by Frederick Brow Air. What the Brow Air Reversal is, it's an easy way to take a spectator's card, reverse it in the middle of the deck so it becomes face up or if you flip the deck it becomes face down. It's a very easy method to do and it's very powerful when you're doing it for a spectator. So we're going to jump in and look at the basic fundamentals of the trick and how you can perform this trick for others. So following on from the previous video with the pinky break and the thumb break, that's all you need to do with this. But what I'm going to do for a quick example of this trick is do the two-handed spread which we've already learned. Spectator picks a card, this example, four of spades. That card goes on the top. Now what you can do is take half of the cards, flip them over, take the other half of the cards, flip them over, do a swing cut, and just like that, if you do a magical click, all of the cards are now faced up, apart from one card in the middle of the deck, which is face down. As you can see here, that face down card is the spectator's chosen card. And that is the Broadway reversal. So now we've seen quick performance of the trick, now we're going to go over the mechanics so you can learn that trick. What you want to do when you perform the trick, you want to put a story to it and make it a bit more exciting rather than just say, take your card, flip the cards, your card's now flipped over. On my YouTube channel, there is a video called The Cocky Chosen Card. And on that video, it uses a similar concept to the Broadway reversal to reverse a card in the middle of the deck. The way I reverse the card in that trick is different to this trick. However, it uses the same mechanics, but you can also use the same storyline or something similar for the brow wave reversal to get away with it. So what we're going to do is get the spectator to pick a card. It doesn't have to be a forced card. It can be any card. So in this case, you've got the five of clubs. What you want to do is grip the deck and, like you learned in the last video, get a pinky break. That card then goes on the top of the deck. So you can show that. And as you can see here, there's a pinky break, but from the front, you can't see anything obvious. So the next step is to change it from a pinky break to a thumb break. We learned that in the previous video, so if you want to check it out how to do it, go check that out. So all you need to do is change the deck into your other hand. So now I've got the thumb break on the deck here. As you can see, there's a, there's a nice little gap there. So when I use that, I can do it. So what you want to do, now you've got your deck like this, you want to take half your cards. It doesn't have to be an exact number. It'll be as many cards as you want. You take those cards, you turn them over, and put them on top of the deck. Now, this is your current situation. So you've still got your thumb break under that one card, and you've got these other cards on top. Now what you want to do is take all these cards below that thumb grip, put them on top, and, and then now you can just square up the deck. So the situation you have is all these cards are face up, apart from the bottom card, which is face down. So the way I like to do it, to sort of disguise the fact that that card is there, just do the swing cut, which we learned about in a previous video, as you can see here, once we've completed the cut, all these cards are face up, apart from one card in the middle, which is a spectator's card, which is face down. You just take that out, turn it up, and that's a five. So, so you can do it that way, and there's also, you can do the swing cut, and if you lose that in the middle, you can flip the cards, and you can do a, a quicker visualization to say, look, all the cards are face down, apart from one card, which is face up, and that's your card. You can do it that way, however, I find it's much better when you're showing them all the cards face up and there's one face down card but you don't reveal it yet they'll think is that my card is that not my card and then when you're short it's a much better and a much more impactful trick doing it that way so again when you're doing the the reversal so you go from your, your pinky break put that card on the top grab the deck with the other hand you've got a thumb break take off half the cards other half of the cards and then there you go so that card now is the other way. Like I was saying earlier, I've got a, a video up with the cocky chosen card, which basically I say about the story. There's four different types of cards. Ambitious card, not so ambitious, regular card, and a chosen card. Sometimes the chosen card gets cocky, flips himself over, and that's the reason behind doing all of this. However, with the brow wave reversal, you're gonna to have to do something a bit different because that story doesn't sort of fall in line with it. You can even do different things. So you can make a story about yourself, say, I got this deck of cards when I was little, and there's always one card. It doesn't abide by the rules and doesn't follow forward. So we'll see if you can find it. So you spread through, spectator picks a card, and then the Queen of Clubs. Say, oh, Queen of Clubs, it's a bit of a difficult card, that. So even if the Queen goes on the top of the deck, we take all the cards, we flip them over. She doesn't pay any attention. So even if we're losing it in the middle of a crowd, anything like that, she always has to be different 
and she always clears the floor and she always turns her back on everyone. As you can see there, she turned her back and she's been found again. Even something as simple as that, you can do that and utilize the full effect. And it's so much more impactful than just saying, I'm going to take this card here. So I take these cards, take these other cards, and then, oh, if I do this, then there's a card that I chose that was on the top, has now flipped over and has done that. So yeah, we've gone through the basics of the Broadway reversal. Hope you learned something, hope you enjoyed it. And if you already know the Broadway reverse on your performer, leave a comment below to say what sort of story you produce with it and what sort of story you go along to say the reasoning behind why this card has flipped over in the middle of the deck. So tomorrow's episode is episode 7 and that's the last one for this week. Like I said, we've been uploading a video every day with these basic card tutorials and we're looking to do some more in the future but for the minute we've just got these seven set so if you haven't already give us a subscribe click the bell icon so you can see all the videos as they're uploaded and follow along with us if you think anyone would benefit from the playlist share the playlist share the video it's nice to get people learning magic and get magic about so yeah and also leave a comment below if you're enjoying the series and follow on from there if you haven't followed me on instagram there's a link below uh, i'm going to be running a competition on there soon to give away a free deck of cards so definitely check that out and until the next episode see ya